Hello everyone, welcome to EGDU and this is numerical number 2.8 from the first year physics and today we are going to solve this numerical. According to the numerical, a 4.0 meter long uniform ladder leans against a wall. This is the wall, this is the floor and this is the ladder. This ladder leans against this wall making an angle of is equal to 70 degrees. The angle between the ladder and the floor is 70 degrees. The mass, uh, sorry, the weight of the ladder is given as 120 Newton. Now here it is given that assume the wall is frictionless. This wall is frictionless but the floor is not frictionless and that friction is keeping the ladder in a static equilibrium position. Uh, now determine the forces exerted on the ladder by the floor and by the wall. So we will be calculating the forces exerted on this ladder by this floor and by this wall. For solving this numerical we will use two conditions of equilibrium as this ladder is in a state of equilibrium. So we can apply the condition of static equilibrium and that conditions are the first condition is the sum of all the forces acting on this ladder will be equal to zero and the second condition is the sum of all the torques acting on this ladder will be equal to zero. Now first look at to this free body diagram there are total four forces acting on this ladder. One force that is acting downward is the force of weight and that is given in the uh, numerical which is equal to 120 Newton. So 120 Newton force is acting downward and that is the weight of the ladder. Now this weight is balanced by the normal force and the normal force is acting in the upward direction. Now the third force that act on this ladder is the frictional force and that force act in the x direction. While that force of the friction is balanced by another force from the wall and that is acting in the negative x direction. So we will calculate this force from the wall which is acting in the negative x direction and the normal force that acts on the ladder in the upward direction. For calculating this first we deal with the first condition of equilibrium and that is the sum of all the forces acting on this ladder will be equal to zero. Now there are only two forces in the y direction. One force is uh, in downward that is weight of the ladder and the second force is upward that is the normal force. So we have an equation Fm because Fm Fm is positive because this is in the downward direction and minus F and this is minus is due to the opposite direction. The normal force is acting opposite to the weight of the ladder. So we have the equation Fm minus Fn is equal to 0. Now we will have Fm is equal to Fn by shifting this minus Fn to this side of the equation. Now here we can substitute the value of weight which is uh, 120 Newton by substituting the value of weight which is given as 120 Newton we will get the Fn that is the normal force acting in the upward y direction. So we have Fn is equal to 120 Newton. Now keep this value in mind this is the first force we have calculated this is the force acting on the ladder from the floor. Now for calculating the force from the wall we will use the second condition of equilibrium. According to the second condition of equilibrium the sum of all the torques acting on this ladder will be equal to zero. Now there are two torques acting on this ladder. One torque is in this direction in clockwise direction and that torque is due to the weight of the ladder. While the second torque that acts on this ladder is counterclockwise and that torque is due to the force from the wall on the ladder. Now we know that the torque is equal to uh, R cross F uh, R times uh, force 
and sine theta so we have r f sine theta now here we have denoted the first torque which is clockwise by tg tg is the torque due to the gravity or the weight of the ladder while the second torque is due to the wall and this torque is opposite to the direction of this first torque so this torque is the torque due to the wall is negative so we will have tg minus t wall is equal to zero the sum of all the torques acting on this ladder equal to zero now if we shift this torque t wall from left hand side of the equation to the right hand side of the equation we will have tg is equal to t wall the torque due to the weight of the ladder is equal to the torque due to the force of the wall now we know that torque t is equal to r f sine theta but here we are dealing with 90 degrees uh, later you will see that so we take only r moment of arm times force torque t is equal to r times force so the torque from the wall is tg is equal to r f m and torque from the wall is equal to t wall is equal to r f uh, or the force from the wall now here we have r1 r1 is this moment of arm and r2 is this moment of arm for the torque uh, due to the wall and for the torque due to the weight of the ladder uh, this ladder leans against the wall and the weight of the ladder is 120 newton but this weight will act at the point of center of gravity for calculating that value center of gravity we will take the total length of this uh, x component and then we will take the midpoint of this x uh, this x component so the weight of the ladder act at the midpoint of the x component now here for the calculation of the torques we need the value of r1 and r2 for calculating the value of r1 you can see that this is a right angle triangle this is the hypotenuse this is the perpendicular and this is the base so for calculating the base or the x component we know that uh, x is equal to uh, hypotenuse cos theta so we will have r1 is equal to base base is this total length divided by 2 to get this midpoint or center of gravity so we will have r1 is equal to base divided by 2 and the base we know is equal to l hypotenuse time cos theta so we will have base is equal to l cos theta divided by 2 now here we know the value of l length of the ladder that is 4 meter and theta that is 70 degrees by substituting the values we will get r1 is equal to 0 0.684 meter so this is the length from here to the center of gravity and this is the moment of arm for the weight of the ladder now we will calculate the value of r2 r2 is simply the perpendicular this length this r2 will be equal to this length so these lengths are equal to each other so we can easily calculate calculate the length of this perpendicular side of this right angle triangle for this we know that uh, the perpendicular is equal to hypotenuse times sine theta so we have r2 r y is equal to uh, vector times sine theta so we have uh, r2 is equal to l hypotenuse times sine theta by substituting the value of l and theta we have 4 sine 70 degrees that is equal to 3.76 now we know the value of r1 and r2 by substituting the value of r1 fm force or the force due to the weight of the ladder r2 which is the length of this uh, this moment of arm for the wall we can calculate the force from the wall we will solve this equation for f wall by substituting the value of r1 fm and r2 now we have r1 0 0.684 meter the force or weight of the letter 120 newton 
and the R2 we have calculated is 3.76 NF1. Multiplying these two terms and dividing by this term, we will get F the force from the wall is equal to 21.83 Newton. Now we have calculated the normal force and the force from the wall. This force from the wall in is this direction while the normal force is in the upward direction one is the x component the negative x component and the second force is the positive uh, is in the positive y direction so these are components of a triangle to get to this triangle here we are going to calculate the magnitude this fn is actually the uh, you can consider this one as uh, y component at this one as x component and we know that uh, for calculating now we are going to calculate the magnitude and the magnitude we know hypotenuse is equal to base square plus perpendicular square so we will have force is if uh, f square is equal to uh, base square plus perpendicular square taking under root on both the sides we will have f is equal to under root base square plus perpendicular square so we take the base as 120 degree uh, sorry 120 newton and the force from the wall is uh, 21.83 by substituting these values and solving we will finally get 121.9 newton uh, by rounding of this number we will get 122 newton so this is the magnitude of the force or uh, due to the wall and due to the ground and this is the required answer that's it thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe easy to you for more videos